Hello, I'm Ryan from Ooze Nest, and today we're going to take a little break from talking about the Work BCNC machine and talk about gantry plates on our VSOT extrusion system. We do a wide range of gantry plates, it can be quite confusing, so I thought I'd do a video on just going through each one, the different uses, and it helped you to choose the right one for your project. So we'll start with the smallest one, which is the Mini V gantry. So the Mini V gantry, this uses the Mini V wheels, either the Delrin or the Extreme ones. Because of the size of the plate, this can only run on the 20mm side of the extrusion. So this gives you a 2020, 2040, 2060, 2080. As long as it's riding on the 20mm side, it will run fine. This is a 6mm plate, and this has threaded holes in the top for M5 bolts, so you can screw a camera or any other apparatus to it, or anything else you want. This gantry can only be belt driven, and you can use that, you can belt drive it using the slots here. So what you do, you wrap your belt around this slot, zip tie the belt to itself, do this at each side, and then you've got a belt driven gantry. So the next gantry is the V-slot gantry dash small. This runs the larger of the wheels, so the solid extreme wheels or the solid V wheels. Again, because of the size of the plate, this runs on the 20 mil side only. So you can run on the 2060, 2080, as long as it's on the 20 mil side, that will work fine. This is a bit more stable than the Mini V because this uses the solid V wheels, but again, it's still a small plate. This is a 3 mil plate, and again, like the Mini V, it can be belt driven only using the slots at the front or back. And this doesn't have the threaded holes at the top. So this just has 5 mil holes, so you have to bolt through these and use nuts to secure things in place. The next gantry is the VSOC gantry full sized one. So like the VSOC gantry small, this uses the solid V wheels. But the difference with this gantry is that it can run on any extrusion from 20 mil to 80 mil thick. And it has the holes on there so you can adjust the wheel positions. Another advantage of this plate is that you can have three pairs of wheels rather than just the two on here to create a, a more stable platform. This is three mil thick. And again, it has the, um, the five mil holes, which are not tapped, so you have to use the bolt and uh, nut method to secure things to it. This is belt drive at the front and back with the slots. But in addition to this, if you add spacer blocks, so what these do, these go in between the wheels and the plate, this will give you an extra 20 mil of gap underneath the gantry, and then you can use a ASME nut block and have a screw driven gantry. The final one of our VSOT gantries is the build plate. This plate is ideal for 3D printers. This is because it has a 200mm square size and you can easily mount heated beds to this platform with the holes in this corner. Like the other VSOT gantries, this uses the bigger of the wheels. It's a 3mm thick plate and the holes are untapped. But what you could do, it's got some smaller holes on this so you could tap them to whatever you want or use the bolt and nut methods. Again, this can run on any extrusion from 80mm to 20mm wide, but I wouldn't advise running on anything smaller than 80mm just because it's a wide gantry and you want to keep the stability by running on a nice big, big extrusion. So now we're going to move on to the C beam range of gantries. So the first one is the C beam gantry plate. What's good about this is it runs on the inside of the C channel. So this gantry uses the mini V wheels to create a very compact system. This gantry plate is a 6mm thick plate and it has threaded holes on top so you can mount anything you need to it, M5 threaded. And this is only compatible with the C-beam on the inside channel. This is a screw drive only. So underneath you can mount a uh, ASME nut block and then at the end you have two uh, C-beam end mounts with a screw that goes through the nut block and then you've got a nice compact screw driven actuator. There's no reason why you couldn't make it belt driven. You could 3D print um, some brackets to go on the front and back to attach a belt. So you can still make it belt driven. Just with the parts we sell, it would be screw drive only. The next gantry plate is the C beam double gantry plate. So this is exactly the same as the C beam gantry, but twice as long. The benefit of this is that it's ideal for Z axis on CNC machines. You've got a nice stable platform to attach your router so you can put really heavy routers on this without it flexing the gantry. 
Again, it's like this, screw driven only, and uses the Mini V um, wheels and the threaded holes to mount anything you need. If you want to use the CVM extrusion and on a really stable platform, we have the CVM Gantry XL. So this uses the solid V wheels, which run on the outside of the track. Like the other two gantries, it's six mil thick. It's got the tapped holes on top, M5. And it, uh, with the parts we sell, it's a screwdriver gantry only. Again, this is good for the Z-axis. You have a very wide route, router, which wouldn't fit on the double gantry. You can use this one. Also, the advantage of this one is that you can also run it on the 80 mil extrusions here because the C-beam is 80 mil wide also. Finally, you can have three pairs of wheels on this. Unlike the four on the, the small gantry, this is a very stable platform, ideal for CNC machines and, and, and any heavy duty applications. And then that leads me on to the final of our gantries. So this is the open rail gantry. So this gantry doesn't work with the V-slot extrusions. What you need is the open rail extrusions on top of the V-slot extrusion. Just to quickly go over what open rail is. So basically, if you have an extrusion frame made out of extrusion and you want to add some motion to it, if you haven't got the slots like our V-slot has, this basically bolts onto the outside and makes an inverted slot. And then you use the dual V wheels that runs in this in this uh, inverted V, and then you've got a nice linear motion system. So the open rail gantries are only compatible with the open rail system. This is very similar to the VSOC gantry. It's a three mil thick, just to five mil holes, none of them tapped. So you need to use bolt and nuts to hold things in place. I mentioned this uses the Delrin V wheels. So you must make sure you have the internal V to run it on the inverted V. And this is a, this could be screw driven. Uh, this doesn't have the slots for the belts like these two. So you can either add them in yourself or create some mounts to do it. Just quickly back to this build plate. This also has another set of holes, so it can also run on the open rail system like this gantry does here. So I hope you found this video informative and you gained good insight to the gantries we sell. If you have any further questions or suggestions for other videos, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive updates on any of our other videos. Thanks for watching.